Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today, let's muck dye a single geode gravity dye. I'm gonna start by using a washable marker and making a mark where I'd like for the center of my geode to be on the shirt. I'm gonna make it kind of up by one of the shoulders of the shirt. This isn't gonna be the design of the center, I'm just using it as a guide so that I don't lose track of where the center of the geode is as I'm tying. I'm going to pinch that area, lift the shirt up off of the table, and then I'm going to slide my hand down where I want the very outer rings of the geode to be, and that's where I'm going to start tying. I want to kind of make this look semi-natural, so I'm going to vary the distance between the lines, and I want to keep the shirt kind of messy as I'm tying it too. I'm gonna rough up the fabric a little bit, pick the shirt up, kind of shake it periodically. I don't want it to look too perfect. That's part of the reason why I'm tying from the bottom out toward the center is I think sometimes if you start in the center, everything kind of falls too naturally and too perfect. And your shirt ends up or your geode ends up looking more like a bullseye or a burst rather than an actual geode. I'm also really tightening down the sinew lines because if I pull them really tight, the wax coating on the sinew is not gonna allow the dye underneath that area and I'm gonna have white definition lines, which I want. As I get closer to the end, or what is the center of the geode, I'm going to start pushing that fabric inside. I'm going to just kind of rough it up a little bit and poke part of it down in the center. That's going to help make some kind of funky shapes in the center of the geode. And I want that. Like I said, the more random and almost messy you are whenever you tie geodes, I think the more natural they look. For this shirt, I've chosen some purples and grays. The gray is just going to kind of break up the purple a little bit. So the setup that I have is I have a metal shelving unit and I've placed the hoodie inside of a plastic wash bin, which I purchased from the Dollar Tree dollar store. I have it on the top shelf of the shelving rack and then down below in the second shelf, I'm going to place another container just like this to catch any of the runoff from this shirt. I'm going to place the dye colors in the various sinew sections and I'll list the colors down below, but I'm using Royal Purple from Dye Spin, Vintage Purple from Dye Spin, True Violet and True Purple from Grateful Dyes, and I'm going to use Gunmetal Gray, Silver Lining, Charcoal Gray, Brushed Steel, and Snozberry from Dharma Trading Company. By the way, Snozberry was a special muck color, which was available in spring of 2022.
Now I'm going to add some additional soda ash over the top of the die and add some ice to the container. I want this to sit in a pretty good amount of muck, so I'm going to add quite a bit of ice. All muck is, is the dye mixed with the melted ice. Then over the top of the ice, I'm going to add a little bit of Dharma's Wisteria. This is not a real powerful color, but it will hopefully help add maybe just a little bit of dimension to the shirt. So I've added a few process photos of the melting ice and how the dye was working on the shirt. And it all was going well until the sprinkler system kicked in. You can see from this photo, the water actually sitting on top of the ice that's not totally melted. That was from the sprinkler system. So it watered down my muck. It didn't really affect the geode portion of the shirt, but it did affect the gravity dye. I think the gravity dyed portion got a little too wet. It possibly even rinsed out most of the soda ash because of all the water that was hitting the shirt. So the dye didn't travel down the shirt like it normally does. I went ahead and left it for about 24 hours after all the ice melted. And you'll see once I've got it totally rinsed out and I show you what I'm talking about. So I rinsed the shirt like normal. I started rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I untied the shirt, warmed the water up to hot, and continued rinsing in hot water to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. To avoid rinsing for a long time, I went ahead and soaked the shirt in some really hot water along with a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent. And when the water cooled off, I changed it out and I continued that soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I put the shirt along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. The shirt's been washed and dried, so let me show you how it looks. Okay, so here's the way it turned out. And it's not horrible. It actually looks like a really pretty shirt. It's just not exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting it to work like all the rest of the gravity dyes that I do where the dye flows through the shirt and down to the edge and it looks really cool. Well, the geode portion looks really cool, but the gravity dye didn't really work. There is a little bit of dye that flowed sort of outside the lines of the geode, especially on that one sleeve. The dye flowed really well right in that area, but not so much on the rest of the shirt. It does look kind of cool though, having the white left on the shirt. I really don't mind it. I think there's enough interest in the geode portion of the shirt that the white doesn't really detract from the design. I think the center of the geode looks really cool. I like the fact that it almost has two centers and quite a few different funky shapes in the middle. And I also like the color combination. The grays just kind of break up that purple just enough so that it gives a little interest to the shirt. I think that is the royal purple from Dye Spin that is the very last big band of color in the shirt. And I just love that color. I think it's just such a rich, pretty purple color. So I really love this shirt, but what do you guys think? Drop me some comments down below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video and the content of this channel, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.